What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. Hope you guys are all doing good. In this video, we're going to break down Casey's video where he reviews the Apple Vision Pro. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight into today's video. <laughs> like what? That's Do wild. I look like real... Yeah, I mean, your eyes are close. Your te it's too much teeth, I think. I don't know. Um, I want to make a review. Come help me. All right, sounds good. All right, meet you downstairs at five. All right. All right. All right. If you want like a normal review of this thing, I can't recommend enough to go watch, to go watch Marquez Brownlee's. His is fantastic. This is a different, like, I kind of have a different take on this and different questions, and that's what this is. But Marquez is really good. What is this thing that I'm holding? Literally. Brother, those glasses are really ugly. Aesthetically, doesn't make sense. Jesus. You are right. <laughs> How do you find it? I had it for like an hour. Yeah, okay. Can you put windows up now if you want to? Yeah, so like I can put a window up now, yeah. but when I start walking, they like go away. They fade away. Yeah, cool. Well, enjoy. Careful. Yeah, take care. All right, you too, man. random pile of bricks, an old toilet, I found the restroom, and a bunch of random wooden poles. There's more poles. Pile it. Let's pile onto that boat, please. And as you can see, the... well, later in this video, we're going to a hundred island, and also... My first impression is, it doesn't look good. It doesn't really make sense. I, I get the whole, like, the futuristic element and that it's something new it's going to be like the iphone but i'm like the iphone was ready when it came out this does not look like it's ready it looks like it's rushed super island but first okay. we're gonna head over to <laughs> strategy for interacting with people they gaslight you into thinking so if you're moving oh. a lot while you're moving, this thing comes up that says tracking fail. Yeah. So it doesn't track if you're moving a lot. So there's nothing for the sensors to like lock on to. It doesn't know where to put stuff. But standing at a subway stop watching a Mr. Beast video is a pretty special, it's a pretty special experience. Hold on, Jordan. Let me try to figure out how to... Wow. What do you think? It's interesting. I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine why you're looking at. Uh... I'm looking at you right now. Oh, okay. I can see you clear as day. You got on a blue tie with a beautiful tie pin at the top, so I can see you. I get off here. Enjoy your adventure. Bye bye. Wow. Uh, I yeah. opened up Apple TV. And it was like this window right here, Jordan. And as he started to move, the window went away with the back with the subway car. You can't. Yeah, um, it's going to be very interesting to see him in a more calm environment because you know how it is when you're on the train and there's a lot of movement and it's probably trying to track. So it, it, the screens are disappearing. I get that. You can't use windows if you're in like a yeah tracking fail like kinetic movement. I imagine it works in an airplane because the airplane is so steady, but this is a subway and it's bouncing. So I gotta wait till we get there. I have this thing tethered to my iPhone. It seems to be working well enough, but for some reason when I try to open Safari, it won't open. Brother. Oh, okay, so it's just typing directly like that. I can imagine like having a screen here 
and then just like typing, doing all of that. But I wonder how efficient you can be with it if it's quick. When you're typing, if it, if it actually can be that quick, or maybe it has some form of voice recognition, so you can just use speech to text. It's like when you're taking the subway or taking the bus, I do not think that this works on the bus or the subway. Maybe if you're taking like a longer trip, longer train ride, uh, even what in airports, it might work, but Put in the comment section, do you think that this is better than staring down at your iPhone? But that is impressive. <sighs> I was just responding to text messages. Wow. But still, oh my God, they're so ugly. I do not like that. I do not like the way they look. It, you look like a geek, like a nerd going around with the glasses. Oh, bro, that's... Ah, oh, shit. I, maybe if they make the glasses a little bit smaller and then maybe transparent would be interesting. Maybe it could be like if you had like sunglasses which had all those features, that would be interesting. Or maybe just normal glasses because like I don't understand why they have to add color and do all of that. Why can't you just have it transparent and very easy, very basic. No way! You're the only person I wanted to be. Casey, wait, Casey, wait, Casey, wait, Casey, wait, Casey. Yeah. Can you not tell? No way. Oh Literally, my god. We were, like, we were, we're talking. Yeah, oh something. my god! No way! I'm actually freaking out. The idea that I can have my whole like computer digital online world that exists in the real world, that's what that's what feels like is bigger than AR or VR. Okay. Like I have the Oculus, it's great, but it definitely feels like a toy. This feels like a little glimpse into the future of what computing could be like down the road. Why but bro, it's so weird. I can't imagine people walking around with these goggles everywhere. I mean, I remember even when I bought the iPhone for the first time and people were criticizing me because they were like, or they were criticizing the iPhone, they were like, how can you buy something which has both a camera and a phone? Like, how can you buy a camera phone? That that doesn't make any sense. And I remember going to school and using my camera and everyone wanted to take pictures. And there it clicked where I was like, okay, people are going to be able to use this for something. And I think that Steve Jobs also knew that when he created it, he looked at how people were using it. And then there he understood how valuable the product was, right? but I do not understand what people are gonna use this specifically for. Like when I look at a video like this, it's not like the iPhone. And I was thinking before, I was thinking this might be as important as the iPhone, but this just says two things about Apple, that they're super lazy and that they have no ideas of how to even revolutionize technology. And then the second thing is just like, bruh, like, I now understand why Steve Jobs was so important for Apple. I can't see a person using this for something more than just like, if it's a niche product or it's more like an experience or maybe like kids are using it in school, maybe like a fun little toy, but I can't see like a grown person taking that much time doing all of that because it seems like the product isn't really done. Everybody's staring at me. <laughs> Do I look as ridiculous as those people make me mm. feel like I look? No, you're, just your eyes are glowing. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, Jordan, you're standing right in front of my Mr. Mm. Beast video. <laughs> Come right there, okay. Years ago, this used to be a bar. Yep. Yeah, you wanna walk under this? Yeah. Right, so the idea of spatial computing, it doesn't make sense to me when I'm sitting in my office. I've got multiple screens. But right now I'm like in the city, I'm in the middle of Times Square, I've got my virtual keyboard here, I've got Apple TV there, I've got YouTube Safari's open here, and it all kind of works. <laughs> like this, what I've got going on right now, this is wild. It's impossible for me to imagine that you can't see what I can see. Everything seems so real, and then I can just stand up.
The butterfly is eating my donut. You should try using the apps more, present it more as a, a work product to see how efficient you can be compared to how it is right now. Because if he had something like that where he's probably like texting two people doing that or have multiple screens up or doing like creating something like that, that would be very interesting to see. Like how many screens can you have? How efficient is it when you're like typing compared to a normal iPhone like the concept for this mm. video was to run around New York City wearing these because I thought that would be funny okay I think it was funny but something happened something happened today that was completely unexpected and that something I don't think anyone else has really touched on none of the reviews I've seen or read none of them really uh, put to words what I experienced so when you take these off, they kind of go to sleep, like your phone. And when you put them back on, you have to unlock them. They scan your eyeballs, and then to start screen recording, go through the. It takes a second. So rather than doing that, I just left these on the entire day. Um, the like two and a half hour battery pack you can plug into a fatter battery, so I never ran out of battery power. Uh -huh. And after a couple of hours of running around the streets of New York, as in not in a controlled environment, my brain sort of clicked and it just forgot that I was looking through cameras and screens and okay. it just it, it took what it saw as reality and that is where this this that's where the that profound moment came from and what occurred to me as I was sitting there in Times Square on a bench hmm. strangers all around me the real world moving all around me but I had like a big screen up where I was watching a Mr. Beast video. And then over here I had this keyboard that I could interact with. And over here I had my iMessages. And over here I had my Apple TV and then all of my apps. Okay. And they're floating in Times Square in the middle of New York City. They're floating there and I'm actually there. And there's actual humans around me. And in that moment, I was like, holy shit, this is it. This is the future of computing that everyone's been promising for like mm. the last 15 years. This is something that like okay. let me like truly peek into where we're at, where all of this is going. This isn't the like the future of AR or VR. Mm. This is the I think this is the future interface for all computing. I think when they figure out how to make these not be yeah. these heavy $4,000 metal ski goggles but you know, maybe they look like these glasses or something even smaller. Yeah, that's what I said. That, as that well. is what it'll be. In the morning, you won't remember your phone. You put it on, and then that's it. And it's like, hold on, I've got a call. Hey, what's up, mom? I'll call you back. You look great, by the way. And that's what it's going to look like. Yeah. And these. It, yeah, but the problem which we have is that if you want color, if you want it to look a certain way, they have to be almost like ski goggles. You have to have that. Not unless you're maybe doing like what they did in the Matrix where you have like a huge stick which you shove up your brain. But apart from that, I think they have to be some form of ski goggles. Uh, if you're going to have them just like these like small little like slimmer glasses, then you have to probably have them transparent. You can't have them with color. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, leave it in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, do you think that we can actually surpass these the version number one because honestly like i'm not sold when it comes to it after watching this video i'm like i'm gonna wait maybe five to six years until they really evolve the technology and make those glasses breathtaking and something actually more practical 
compared to just having something because it's going to be one of those toys which you just have on the side you never really use but it's it's there in case you want it and it's like okay let's go traveling or let's then you take with those huge goggles but maybe it's right when it comes to computing that everything is going to become way smaller and they're just going to be some form of goggles in the future but we're looking at maybe 10 years from now 15 years from now.